what I was surprised by, because I have so little experience, is that he used the Hasselblad, or I think that's how you say it. It's a wonderful camera with a little box that jumps up. And he, he would take Polaroids, like 10 Polaroids, before he would bring out this treasure, this magic camera. And, um, and once he got the picture he wanted, he didn't want you to improvise with it. He wanted you to do the same thing about 50 times. And I think it's, it's, in a way, as an actor, I understand that if the form is very limited, you start to really improvise inside it. And I think that's why I found it such a powerful experience emotionally, is that within this form, I got to do whatever I wanted, or I got to feel whatever, or think whatever I wanted. But the form itself, my gosh, you really have to stand there forever with your shoulders out and your... You know, everything has to be just so, your chin and your... I mean, that's the thing I hated the first day. I didn't understand the purpose of it. You know, I was used to sort of being encouraged to do whatever I want, little egotist that I am. But his ego was, was bigger and more important, I think. Quand on, fait une, vous avez, quand on fait une photo avec Helmut, on devient Newton, c'est ça le secret. Et on devient comme une chose graphique. C'est pour ça que je reviens toujours à cette idée du dessin de Matisse. Il cherche une forme. Et je crois qu'on ne travaille bien qu'avec lui si on accepte cette idée. Moi, si je fais une photo avec un grand photographe, j'aime que ça ressemble à une photo euh, typique de ce photographe. Moi, je m'en fous que ça soit ressemblant, bien, pas joli, pas joli, laid, moche, fatigué. C'est pas ça qui m'intéresse. Ce qui m'intéresse, c'est la personnalité du photographe à travers cette photo. He always liked it when I smiled, probably because I look a little crazy or something. And so it was funny. He had the basic shape in mind, the, the idea, and then he didn't mind what I filled it with, you know, and he, he uh, would encourage me in certain directions. So, you see, the thing is, once you surrender to Helmut, then it is a uh, collaboration. But if you stand back and don't work with him, which is what I had done the first day, and resent the fact that he's sort of telling you what to do, then, then there's nothing that can happen. I love that. I love that idea. It summed you up somehow. Well, it summed up the business I'm in in a strange way. So sort of if you look, you know, if you look through a piece of film, it's all distorted, really, if you're trying to see what's behind it. And I think the business is a little like that. <laughs> 